My name is Dr. Francis Leyan Sambele, one of our team leader working with an organization called WARDA. WARDA is also a resource development agency. We are privileged this morning to have a, a two visiting American ophthalmologists who, with the county government of uh, Garissa, we were able to, we are contacting uh, a pediatric uh, outreach, a pediatric outreach at the county, at the county hospital, Garissa uh, Referral Hospital. Uh, our target this morning is about uh, 20 eye operations, and by the end of the activity here, we have planned to do about 50 pediatric of, uh, uh, operations. We have concent what we are concentrating on this morning or during this period is only uh, pediatric surgeries. Uh, and, uh, what you see behind me are the local doctors. These are local doctors from the county hospital. As I said, we are so privileged to work with them and from the support of the uh, uh, Garissa referral hospital we are able to carry out these activities. Behind me are children, the surgeries have just started. We are also very privileged uh, to get a very special machine called a vitrector from America that has been donated by our friends, uh, the community, the friends who have supported this ICAM. And these are the Somali community in North America and uh, this county hospital here. So the surgeries have just started. These are young children uh, who have been blind. A, a lot of them have been blind for almost three years. We've gotten uh, children from the refugee camps. Uh, we've gotten them from our three refugee camps, which is uh, Daga, Daga Hale. Uh, the team, the children we are starting this morning are from Daga Hale. And we have also planned, because of these COVID challenges, we are not uh, crowding our cases here. So we have space this activity. Like uh, uh, yesterday, we were able to bring kids uh, or these children from uh, MSF uh, Dagale, and then we'll do the operations for two days. And on Wednesday, we'll be able to bring in kids, uh, the children again, from the other two camps I've mentioned, namely uh, the National Red Cross, uh, Agadera, and Kenya Red Cross Society, uh, Dadab. We have also planned in this surgical outreach to perform some surgeries at the, the Dadab refugee camp. As, as you know, most uh, uh, these friends from America are very passionate to carry out this activity at the refugee camp. And we are very, very grateful. So after this activity this week, we will move on for another week to uh, the Dab uh, refugee camp and continue doing our uh, activities out there. We have targeted 300 operations. Once again, I'm very, very grateful. Both, both 350, both children and adults. Once again, I'm very, very grateful for your support. The County Garissa uh, Referral Hospital and uh, these friends from uh, North America, the Somali community from North America, as a son. Yeah, the surgery of children is very, very complex, and uh, this is why it was not possible to do this. As you can see, I think from our photos here, it is quite involving. You have to have a specialized team of anesthesiologists, which will not have been possible in, uh, you know, at the sub-county hospital. Yes, there is a, uh, a sub-county hospital, the refugee camp, which is the Dab. Uh, Sub County Hospital, but that will not be possible with this kind of uh, surgery out there. As you can see behind me, this is a whole 
a, a big team of uh, eye doctors assisting us with the activity. And uh, the specialized equipment, although these are portable equipment, like that special machine I've just mentioned, which has been donated by these friends of North America, it's a very simple machine. I think uh, you'll be able to get a closer, uh, a closer view or a closer uh, uh, view of the machine. Thank you very much. So what is your message? Uh, my message to our friends, not only North America, but I think my message to everybody is that the need is massive. It's not only North, it's not only uh, this uh, uh, county, but the need is massive in, the, in our country. The need is massive. You know, pediatric surgery is not something that can be done uh, like the other cataracts we do out here. So we are kindly requesting you to continue supporting this uh, noble exercise you have started called outreach through our friends from America. And comparing, I, I think uh, it's only a drop in the ocean. There is, there is still a lot of cases out there. And our challenges are logistics, trying to get these people here. So, I mean, all the children here. But uh, as I've just mentioned earlier, we thank the three organizations that have facilitated the movement of these children from the refugee camps to this place, especially uh, uh, MSF, uh, uh, MSF as a whole, MSF Holland, uh, or oh, I don't know, the people who are running the, the refugee camp, Kenya Red Cross and International. Yeah, it is MSF Swiss. They have really been very instrumental in moving these patients from, uh, you know, the sub-county to our 